welcome to my Wednesday wellness. I'm here in this beautiful place in Avoca down in County Wicklow and it's just a gorgeous day and I'm here to talk to you about myrrh because it's the time of year it is. The Magi came on the 6th and they brought myrrh. So why do they bring myrrh? What's so good about myrrh? So I'm going to tell you a couple of facts about myrrh, a couple of benefits and a couple of uses. So myrrh is in yoga underground. Um, so myrrh is one of the most sacred anointing oils. It was used, it was referred to over 150 times in the Bible and it was also used in Egyptian worship. So it was used uh, to worship the god Ra and burned in the temple of Isis and uh, also used in Ayurveda and Chinese tradition. So it's been used for thousands of years, both for worship, prayer and uh, wellness. So myrrh is actually a resin, like frankincense. So it's quite hard and quite solid in nature. So this heaviness, gives it this quality of just, you know, grounding us, relaxing us. That's why I use it in, in yoga on the ground. Um, there's two key ingredients in myrrh. They are terpenoids and sesquiterpenes, and they're both being used, uh, they're both being actively investigated for their antioxidant and also anti-cancer properties at the moment. So very active, strong ingredients in myrrh. So it's excellent for wellness. Um, so what are the benefits of myrrh? They're, um, it's anti-inflammatory which is excellent because most modern illnesses are in some way inflammatory in nature, inflammatory in nature. So uh, anti-inflammatory is just excellent for overall wellness. Um, also anti-parasitic, um, um, which is quite unusual, so that's also very beneficial. And also um, antifungal, which is again quite rare in an oil. And you'll probably know if you use any medical um, fungal treatments they're very 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 strong so an antifungal natural is really a, a friend in wellness so there are three benefits now three uses um, so it's traditionally been used in embalming uh, traditionally over you know five six thousand years so this kind of benefit this benefit points to its um, skin qualities how good it is for the skin so it is really excellent for cellular regeneration. It has a, they've done studies and shown that there's an increase in activity of the white blood cells around the area that it's topically applied. So it's great for healing any wounds, any chopped skin, any, you know, any issue that you have with your skin. So for general skin care, it's very good. Also excellent for oral care, for mouth care. Anti-gingivitis, good for receding gums, good for any swollen gums, good for toothache. You know, it's, anti it's analgesic, so it's good for pain relief, good for breath, so it's great for oral health. And then finally, it's great for meditation. It's been considered an anointing and divine oil you know, ever since it's been used. So it's great for meditation. The sesquiterpenes just relax and ground us. So use it as part of your meditation. You know, it's a very, very sacred oil and has been, you know, recognized as that since since when the Magi brought it. So um, it's been used, it's, it's, it's supposed to, it balances all the chakras and it's supposed to help to connect us with the divine, whatever we perceive that to be. So um, it's great for meditation. So use it in your meditation for skin care, for, it's also actually good for upper respiratory um, health. Hmm. And it just, it grounds us. That's why it's in yoga and ground. So thank you very much. I have a, a grounding webinar kind of gathering next Tuesday. So if you're around, there'll be a link to that under this. So please uh, um, jump in and join me on that. Thank you. Namaste.